Hello, my name is Nevraskaya and today I will be presenting my final project which is on intelligent traffic sign recognition systems. For the agenda of this presentation, we'll first be going into an introduction and background of such systems, then I will give the concept and requirements of this project. The design slide will explain in more detail the design methodology and the design flowchart that I used to build the systems, and then we will be looking at the implementation details of this project. The computer vision and machine learning will explain the two most important pro aspects of this project in more detail. Then we will be going and uh, looking at the demo of this project through some videos, and then we will be looking at the performance results that I was able to get out of the project. In the end, we will finish with some conclusions and lesson learned uh, out of this project. So the objective of this system is to detect traffic signs through a camera input. It has to have specific timing requirements uh, in order to detect images out of a streaming video and that's what makes it as a real-time system. Uh, those systems, traffic sign recognition systems, are part of what's called ADAS, Advanced Driver Assist Systems. Um, those are an integral part of uh, automotive industry today as we're going into autonomous cars and connected cars. The first generation of such systems was developed in Germany in 2009 and was limited for around science in Europe only. Currently, they are commercially available in many automotive manufacturers. Uh, some of the them that I found online were Volvo and Ford in Europe started offering those systems since 2013. Uh, and this list is not inclusive by any means. I'm sure that other automotives have those systems available as well in their versions. And the commercial application systems are vision based and they are obviously real time and they also use an aging algorithm where next signs can override the previous uh, signs or in other uh, in other means basically after a sign is detected it stays available for a certain amount of time and then it ages after this project uses a little bit different approach from the currently uh, current systems that are deployed and it utilizes vision and in addition to that it utilizes machine learning or intelligent algorithms to learn um, the traffic science rather than just uh, using that vision based approach. This is not using a template approach as most of the current TSRs actually do use because of the many limitations that the template approach has. So the concept is uh, to have a real-time system to detect signs from a streaming videos and some of the functional requirements that I came up out of this project was to detect signs from a video stream, to detect signs in a real-time environment and to provide an 85 percent accuracy, uh, overall accuracy for the system. Non-functional requirements, um, the most important one is that it has to use intelligent learning algorithms to classify and not just uh, use vision based and comparing the results between multiple uh, machine learning algorithms and as we will see it in different slides. The design, the system is designed in two phases, the training phase and the implementation phase. At an overall view, in the training phase we read the training images, we extract features using SURF which is an advanced version of SIFT that we learned in the class and we train the machine learning algorithms to extract a model out of it. For the implementation phase we derive and encode the features in real time and then we use the model derived from the training part to predict what traffic signs we're facing. In the end we also have an optional phase of deciding what traffic sign it is between multiple algorithms and who to trust first and stuff like that. This is the design diagram. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we have four traffic signs coming into it. I have actually 100 images per each sign coming and creating a training set uh, data structure. After creating this data structure then I input all those messages to a surf um, feature detector then the data that pro is produced out of the surf I input this into a machine learning algorithm where I do a training part based on labels from each uh, image. After the training we extract the model out of it, we extract an intelligent model out of it and then we input this into the implementation part. In the implementation part, we go into an infinite loop where it starts from the camera, 
getting a live stream and for the image that we capture out of the live stream we perform surf still to get to characterize the image and using the machine learning model that we got out of the training phase we predict to make a decision what the sign is and this happened in a continuous mode for the implementation part again it happens in two parts which is the training and the implementation part and we should keep in mind that computer vision is an integral part of both of these uh, phases. In the training part, it happens only once, and we read images. We organize them in an image set data structure, basically get all the images together. And we characterize the, all the images using SURF, which uh, speeded up robust feature. We basically get features out of those images. Out of those 100 images per each traffic sign, we get features out of them. Then we encode image characterization features to a table. We basically gather all the information, all the data uh, out of these images, and then we input those, uh, input those as a, in the training part of the machine learning algorithm. Based on those uh, data that we have, we extract weights, we extract the model out of the machine learning algorithm. For the implementation part, we use that model, we use the model with the given weights, basically the model that we built in the implementation part, and we capture an image from a streaming video, from a live streaming video, and we perform surf and encode the features on that image as well. So we basically go back to that image and extract features from that image. Then we do the matching part through machine learning algorithms, through intelligence systems. We input the characterizations from the surf to machine learning algorithm to predict the sign. The computer vision aspect of the project is that it uses SURF, which is the most important algorithm used in this project, and it is an advanced version of SIFT. It's actually inspired by SIFT. Uh, it stands for speeded up robust features, and it, describe, it is described to be more faster and more robust. Uh, SURF is uh, it's a local feature detector and descriptor. As we can see, it is a little bit different than SIFT in terms of it is a descriptor, and we'll see later on why it's, it's a descriptor rather than a feature extractor. Uh, it's generally used for object recognition, and it performs similar steps with SIFT for preparation. So it does difference of Gaussians, it um, does the extrema points, and it also eliminates the weaker points of interest. So it does those steps, those four steps, similar to SIFT. But the characterization part of the SURF, it's a little bit different, and that's what it describes the, it gives the capability of being more robust and being faster. So to characterize a point in SURF, it describes actually the region about it, the region around it. It does not just extract the feature or the point of interest. For each point of interest, we get a square region which is centered on that point of interest and we extract it. Then that is split into four smaller square subregions. For each one of those, then we extract the here wavelet response. So basically, we characterize the region instead of the point of interest. And then the final step is to weight those response, uh, responses with a Gaussian, um, with a Gaussian basically method, which is it makes it more robustness and and the characterization that we're doing to the region is better than the SIFT which basically extracts just the feature out of it and the direction of the orientation. <coughs> the machine learning part of it, um, we have we have to we have about hundred no but we actually have exactly hundred images per each science that we collected it for training purposes. For each image, we extract 200 points of interest using the SURF, or better saying, we extract 200 regions of interest using the SURF method. The information then is organized into a table, and as we can see, we have 100 images, 200 points per images, we have four traffic signs, it, al it is a lot computationally expective, uh, expensive. Then these features, or this data that we get, out of a lot of the data points that we get out of the computer vision part, then we input those to train machine learning algorithms, and we use decision trace, uh, we used uh, support vector machines, and ensemble systems. After the training, an intelligent model is extracted, and in the live mode, we collect new images and perform surf again to characterize the image and gain point of interest regions. 
that after getting point of interest out of the live stream image, we use the predict function in MATLAB based on the extracted model from the training part of the classifier to determine what sign it is. So basically, we get data points from the computer vision part, we input them into a machine learning algorithm, and we predict based on it. Uh, regarding testing and verification, I, I, test, I did two tests uh, on this project. One is we test for the prediction probability. So basically we go into each sign and we predict or we define the probability that that image that we got is a certain sign. And then we test for accuracy. Let's look at this video first. So as you can see in here, we are trying to predict what the, Im this is the live stream. And if we pause in here for a second, we can see that the probability for traffic light, stop sign and speed limit is very low. But the probability for a wrong way, it's very high. And if we look at the image, this is a, a, a wrong way a traffic sign. And since the probability for the wrong way is almost one, then it determines that this is a image is a wrong way. And as you can see, this is a, a live stream coming out of the camera, and the probability does change quite a bit. As we're going into a stop sign, we can see that the probability for the stop sign it goes pretty high, and the probability for the other signs it goes pretty <coughs> low. This is using the ensemble systems with uh, back decision trees. Now, going to another video, going to the other video, which is testing for accuracy. In here, in this video, it's a little bit different because we're actually comparing um, different machine learning algorithms into detecting uh, detecting an image. We have a simple decision tree in here, which it actually thinks that this image is a traffic light, and we have an ensemble system on back decision trees, which is determining the the, <coughs> the correct way. We can see it, uh, the image video is coming straight, and if if we see that we can see that the decision tree is doing a, uh, a poor job in determining what um, what system is that, we can see for the traffic light in here, for example, it's doing a better job. Both of those are agreeing that this sign is a traffic light, and so on. For the speed limit as well, we can see that they are both agreeing on the speed limit. The performance of the systems. So, three I used I used three algorithms to train, and uh, from the training details, uh, the ensemble systems and the linear support vector machines uh, gave pretty good results. And actually, the ensemble system of back trees uh, gave a 97.5 percent. Same with the linear SVM 97.5, and the decision tree was pretty low accuracy, which was 62.5 percent. As we can see also from the graphs. This is the ensemble system, this is the SVM, and this is the decision tree. We can see that the ensemble system, the solid points are the points that are classified correctly. Um, the cross points in here are the points that are in classified incorrectly, and we can see we have a lot of cross points in the decision tree as well. Now this is for the training part where basically when I got the training set of data, I selected 80% of them to be uh, for training and 20% of them to be for testing. So that's how I was able to get those results. But the performance of implementation in general, in overall, in a 10 minute range, different lighting condition and different position, I was able to get a roughly 85% um, accuracy. Some of the lessons that I got out of this project, and maybe other students can get, is that feature detection algorithms in computer vision are very valuable for characterizing an image and discretizing it. So using methods such as surf, sift, they are, it is very valuable for us to um, extract features or extract data out of an image. Surf is a more robust and faster version of sift. I started this project by using sift, but then I found surf, which is more valuable and it was giving better performance. Uh, a, a drawback of this project or of this approach that we followed is that the, the computer vision part of it is very computationally expensive as well as the machine learning part of it. The reliability of the system is also depending on the training set, on the images that we input for training. And 
for improvement for future work for this project is can be used a voting scheme can be used of different uh, machine learning algorithms to increase the overall reliability of the system also as a conclusion in the end the cost of implementation in automotive embedded systems need to be evaluated for real world implementation obviously we do not have the memory and processing power requirements that I have in a car because I built this project in, a, in my laptop so if we need to implement this project into automotive systems I'm sure that there will be more memory and uh, processing requirements constraints so thank you and if you have any questions feel free to send me an email